uh, talk about what you do if you're an inspection manager. And here you'll probably want to work in a, uh, a view of all the inspections so you can organize those and see them all pretty much at a glance. And if you go to the inspection home, you can see here a list of all the uh, active inspections. There's 22. Uh, they're in these different statuses. These are all, you know, statuses that you can relabel, redefine. Um, you can remove status, add status. Uh, if, if your workflow requires. And here's a heads up about uh, things that you want to uh, give, be aware of, um, and things that are coming due or that are overdue. The listing here that you see is uh, one way to look at the inspections that we uh, are, have active, but you can also look using this card view, which I personally find to be a little more uh, attractive and informative at the same time. Um, Let's have a look at one of these uh, these inspections. Now we can have all kinds of inspections. You can have um, internal process audits. You can have asset inspections. You can have uh, supplier audits. These are you know whatever it is that you might have. Uh, in this particular uh, audit, we've got uh, a presentation now of summary information. It shows where the customer is, uh, what the results of the audit, of the audit were. Here we can see that there was a 92% compliance, and you might say, what does that mean? I'll show you what that means in just a second. Uh, but you can see that there were seven questions, seven of the uh, questions were in compliance, and there were no uh, questions that indicated non-compliance. Uh, here's an optional component for tracking uh, an invoice that might be, if you thought that was necessary as part of your workflow, to have the invoicing be a company a inspection that can be managed as well with our system here. Uh, if we want to look at more detailed uh, results, there's a detail tab again, just summarizing things uh, a little more graphically. Uh, you can see that uh, with 92% compliance, <coughs> correction costs are, are those kind of costs where if you find uh, a finding, you may want to also provide an estimate to address the finding. And, and we do provide that in our internal workflow, but for this simple case, we're not going to get into that. Um, if I want to look at the details of the, um, of the uh, inspection that we conducted, this is a very short one just to illustrate. Uh, here you can look at the questions according to their category. Uh, there are none that are not compliant, so there are nothing uh, here to show. But if we look down at the details of this particular uh, uh, audit, you can see how they've been structured here. We have the answers to the question. In this case, it's a radio button type answer, but we have all their options available. And with each of the answers, we can put a score next to it that does two things. One, it can tell us, is the answer uh, one that is compliant with uh, the standard or with the um, criteria that we want to uh, monitor? And also, we can associate a scoring value to give us a kind of a goodness of a goodness result. And here we can see in the first answer that being certified to ISO 9001 is not only compliant, it warrants a 100% uh, factor for that particular score, uh, question. Uh, if you look at the other questions, they're similarly structured for the purposes of, the, of, of our talking about it here. And then you can see um, that when you add these up and average them out, how, you, how we came up with a 92% compliance. Uh, 